hi! This is going up on December 1st. Oh, welcome to December! Holiday content! Oh, we're ready. We're, we, not really. I'm not ready at all. I'm so it is, uh, Saturday? Yes. Thanksgiving was Thursday? Yes. We are both in our post-Thanksgiving... Blues. We have, I, yeah. I mean, I'm a little low. Yeah. And I'm, I'm just, just like, exhausted. That's, I, that's it for me. I, I want to lay like broccoli. Same. Same, uh, same, same, same. That's same. exactly what it is. So I'm going to try and turn on the shine a little bit for you, but trust and believe, when I'm not on camera, I'm like... I just want to be a potato. Mm-hmm. Baked right. potato. Like, I don't, I did not want to get this level of ready today, but no, here correct. we are. And I, I feel very lucky that my hair from yesterday somehow managed to last. Yeah. And so I just had to touch up a couple pieces. That's but great. I was like, I can't do my hair. I just can't do it. No, it was just too much. That's Caitlin. <laughs> oh, that's Danielle. And we're our time of the month. We are our time of the month. And, uh, you know, we love December. We love the holidays. We celebrate mm. Christmas, but in a very non-religious way, I would say. Like, yes. No, I, we celebrate the commercial Christmas. Right, like glitz and green and red and holiday lipstick and fun decorations and Christmas trees and good smells. And presents. And presents! <laughs> yeah, no, we do the... <laughs> as soon, I mean, really as soon as cold weather hits, we're sort of like... October 31st goes shooting. away and I'm like, Christmas music! Well, I, oh, that's one of my questions for you. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> but anyway... So. Caitlin had this idea to share our favorite holiday or festive accessories. And yeah. so I don't think we did the best job at pulling these. No. Because we definitely are both forgetting some things. But I literally well. left one of the, the thing that inspired it at home. Yeah. But she'll tell you about it. Ooh, ooh. Uh, yeah, we're just going to show you what, we, what we're doing. Yeah, so I guess oh, uh, it's really easy for, I think, for when you start dressing for the winter time to be like bundle up in your like big down coat and your big scarves and your big hats and you end up feeling a little bit big frumpy <laughs> just a little bit frumpy like not as I mean I don't want to say sexy because I never feel sexy but like no zhuzh right there's no like pizzazz right and you a lot of people end up wearing like shapeless things You're just things. a marshmallow exactly well so I find that these things that I have laying in before me are the things that make me feel like a little gussied up more Caitlin yes uh, but still, you know, appropriately dressed for the season. Correct. Okay. So we start around here, top down. down, and we both have some tops. Yes. I did not realize you got our hat in red. I fucking love that. I bought it the other day. Oh, I really love it. Uh, okay, so I'll, I'll start Go with for it. two of the exact same thing. You know, I was seeing these all over everybody and their mother. Was it last? Yeah, last year. And I was like, Ugh, whatever, Ugh, whatever. And then finally... I realized I'm an idiot. The chenille, specifically these hats that are made out of the chenille, mm -hmm. I have a big head and sometimes <sighs> beanies squeeze it, but the chenille is so comfortable. It's very forgiving. And then this like, you, you know, just look adorable. a little fur pom-pom. So this particular one is from Brightside. You got one from one and I got one from the other. I got one from Brightside and this was pre you having it. It was on Small Business. It was this day exactly last year. Oh. Today's Small Business Saturday. Shit. And I bought one and you were like, Ugh, I really should have just gotten it. And then you stopped at Poppy and Stella on your way home and picked one up. Yep. So I have this, <laughs> I have this uh, cute little one from Poppy and Stella. And then magically, because everyone makes them now, yeah. I have this really beautiful like burgundy oh, I love uh, oxblood one from Loft of all places. And I think that's going to be a really great one this year. Uh, yeah. I love it. I wish I had a more red one like that. Well, you can get it at Loft. I'll send you a link. That'll be great for me. Oh, I love it. It looks so beautiful. Right? And then all of a sudden it's like, oh, who's that little snow bunny over there? <laughs> it's me. Ice princess. Do you want to try this on? No. I trust you. I know I'll like it. So I have the black chenille hat with the palm and I just love a palm hat and I love mm -hmm. red. So last year my mother-in-law actually got me this one from J. Crew. It is a little bit big. I think this would be perfect for your head. It feels stretched out. It felt stretched out when I got it. So while I like yes. it and while I wear it, I feel like it's not snug on my head. Oh my God, it looks so good though. It's just such a great color. I love it. Yeah, it's great. And then I also have this one from Aerie and I think I was buying us some sweaters, the naughty and nice mm -hmm. ones, and I spotted this and I was like, I'm gonna have to have that because it's just so fun and wild and it reminds me of something that my aunt would have knitted for me when I was a kid. Mm -hmm. And it's very soft, uh, very cozy, and I, 
don't know, it just is like a fun, youthful. It's a very youthful hat. I feel young when I wear it. Well, it is from a teenage store. <laughs> a store for teenagers. The underpants I'm wearing right now are from Aerie. Did you buy some? 10 for 35, fuck yeah I did. Did you see how everyone, like everyone said I know, it? I know, I and they're great, I love them. I didn't realize. Did you go to the mall or did you order them online? I ordered them online, they were here in two days. Oh, that was my, yeah, that was my question, is how you got them so fast. Yeah. Oh, okay Aerie. $10, 10 for 35. Um, they're like so great that I found myself wearing underwear to bed last night and then just like walking around my house all morning in just my underwear. It's fantastic. I am liberated. My legs have been liberated. I love it. What kind did you get? Oh, full body bullshits. Look at these cute fuckers. Oh my God, I love those. Aren't they? <gasps> get okay. some. Get, you get some. You get some. You get some. I'm definitely gonna get some. I love those. <laughs> I know, and they make it in a bunch of different patterns. And this style, uh, anyhow, this isn't an underwear video, but if you need some cute ones, Aries got them. <laughs> okay. Oh my God, that's hilarious. Hats. Big Tommy hats. We like them. Check. We wear them almost every day for me. Yes. So this is like not so much a scarf as it is like a wearable pet. And it is yeah. my Burgundy Oxblood what you call it, First stole? Stole. Is this from Forever 21? Yes, it is. Unbelievable. I got this two or three years ago. I don't remember why I was in Forever 21, but I ran, oh, you know what it is? I think I bought a bunch of like really cheap um, New Year's um, stuff from Forever 21 because I didn't want to spend a bunch of money on a dress I was going to wear one time. And when I went in to return it all, uh, I found this. God, I love and it. And I'm obsessed with it. I try and wear it as much as humanly possible. Um, I just think, and it doesn't look like it was Forever 21. Why don't I have one yet? That's what I'm know. asking myself right now. Why don't I have it? You should get a green one. Yes. Like an emerald. Like that coat that I love. Yes. Uh, so I've never ever worn it like an actual scarf. I always yeah. actually just wear it sort of out. But I've worn, I've like gotten to places, taken my coat off, and then left this on. As, you as if it was just uh, a necklace. It deserves to be seen. Yes, I agree. Um, well, I'll try and find a similar one and link it down below because I think you need one. I agree. And it's even got, it's kind of like, it's got velvet on the back. Wow, oh, that's really nice. Yeah, so, so it's not itchy. It is not itchy at all. It is super soft. I understand why people wear like actual fur, kind of. I have a couple of more head accessories. So the first one that I have is one of these turban style knotted headbands that you've been seeing all over the place. Caitlin and I have been wearing them since the summer and I found this one on the Loft Outlet website and I thought, oh my God, if this doesn't scream third grade school picture dress for the holidays or like sitting on Santa Claus's lap, I don't know what does. It's this blue and green plaid that I feel like your fucking American Girl doll would wear. Mm -hmm. And I love Samantha. it. Samantha, for sure. Uh, I, I think it's really cute. It was very affordable, again, because it was at the Loft Outlet, and it's comfortable. I think it looks really nice with a blue sweater. That's how I've worn it. And it's just like a fun way to keep my hair out of my face, maybe hide a little bit of dirt. Um, and then other hair says <laughs> like dirty hair. Hide a little bit of dirt. It hides approximately one and a half inches worth of grizzly hair. <laughs> And then I know that these are for children. I, in fact, bought them at the, uh, within the children's section of Target, but I wear hair bows in the winter time, especially when Caitlin and I do things like wreath making or Christmas tree hunting, or if we're filming videos. Again, it's a fun way to add a little bit of glitz to my outfit. Would I wear this to work? Absolutely not. I'd be made fun of. I would do it like, the for like Christmas the day Eve. before yeah like Christmas Eve or we're doing a holiday cookie exchange yeah if you're having like a holiday party at work sure but, but I would like, just roll up to the office on a Monday but they're so cute and they, I think they were like a dollar or two each so and actually as she mentioned that I forgot to share these and again this is the do the children's section of Target really yeah they're just these like sequiny um, I've not seen that but I've seen this one. Yeah. Oh just, my God, so cute. Just these sequin hair clips in holiday shapes. You look great. Like, <laughs> I love it so much. <laughs> I've know. only ever seen a Santa hat. Really? Yeah. Because the gingerbread man is my favorite. I love him. And then also, I really like these ridiculous oh. headbands. I have some reindeer ears somewhere, and I have one with a present, another present on it that I think looks a little cuter. But these are from Michaels. Michaels has really great mm -hmm. festive earrings and head accessories. And it's just like, right? 
Why not? Why wouldn't you? We're walking in an arthritis walk next weekend and I'm gonna be decked out in tacky Christmas accessories. One of the things that I do find myself managing to kind of incorporate, oh God, it's so good. <laughs> Managed to incorporate into, into like, like the week of Christmas. I Every think day. I can like whip them out. It's Chris, <laughs> tacky Christmas earrings. Oh, I love some of mine upstairs. So like I have these little bells. Yeah. I have these little baubles. I have those exact ones from a thrift store. Really? Yes. These, I'm pretty sure, both of these were from Sweet Elizabeth Jane in Ellicott City. Oh. Oh, that's what I wanted to do today. Oh, these okay. little reindeers, I'm pretty sure, are from Claire's circa like 1994. That's a great idea though. I bet you they're still cranking out kind of cute earrings. I bet you. They used to have like the whole four side. I remember. Yeah. Oh. So there's, there are those. I haven't worn these yet. I got them last year. I should yeah, probably just be wearing them. them now. You felt like the one twisted the one way, because it did. Yeah. You couldn't read one. You jingle bell slut. That's what I called you. Yeah. I remember. And actually, I also <gasps> brought these as a less overtly holiday option. These are from Loft, and they have like a little, uh, you know, diamante. <laughs> Not even. They're just I plastic. Know. <laughs> um. But yeah, and then these ones, I like that I talked about these and then didn't even show the camera. Oh yeah, sorry. These ones are from ASOS and they say Jingle Bell. Jingle Bells. I love them. But I've never actually worn them, so maybe I'll wear them right now. There are some on sale at Target right now that are the Bobble Bar Sugar Fix line and they have actual lights on them. Stop. They don't light up, but they are very beautiful. If you've, if you've ever purchased anything from the Bobble Bar Sugar Fix line, they're really great. Um, and they have another oh, one. Oh, pardon me. They have another one that I really want. Oh, I just need to pull the trigger and do it because I, like while I'm not wearing these head accessories every day, I will absolutely wear a festive earring every day. I used to work with a woman who had a different brooch and a different pair of festive earrings for the entire month of December. It was her thing. I like that. She did it every single day. I also have oh, festive yeah. earrings. So I'm wearing a pair right now. These are ear jackets, which I think this is a really fun way to dress up your ear if you don't like dangles. Um, these are from the Sugar Fix line at Bobble Bar. You know, I've, I wear yeah. these all the time. I love them. Uh, as far as Christmas earrings goes, I think that Michael's might be my favorite place to buy them because they're pretty affordable. You can always use a coupon and they're tacky as shit. It looks like I went into the crafting aisles of Michael's and made these myself. Yep. They are little pom-poms with various bells and baubles and a star and it says Merry Christmas on them. And I mean, I, it's literally a tree. It's, it's a, a tree. tree. It's a Christmas tree on my ear and they're very lightweight. Super love those. Um, other, other earrings that I really like are from Loft. We got these last year. They're kind of like, whoops, gold dangles with pave diamonds, but they're really fun. And I think that, again, they do a nice job of jazzing up your ear. And then as far as like a glitzy holiday ear, like white Christmas, these are from Bobble Bar, but I got them at Sassanova and I just love them. Mm -hmm. I love them so much. They really just like make, make people drawn to your face. Yeah, I mean, you could be wearing a robe and people would still think that you were dressed. Right. Because of those earrings. You? Sometimes I feel like I, I don't really wear a lot of necklaces. I usually wear the same one every single day. So during the holidays, I try to find things that I can wear specifically so I can wear this beautiful Rachel Mulliheron drop necklace. It's handcrafted. She used to live in Baltimore, but now she's in New York. And I saw this at the Holy Glam event last year. And I was like, I'm gonna need you to make me I one. Think it, like flip it, I think, because the studs, they want to hang on the other side. I like that, I think. Um, so she let me pick the color stones that I like. And I just, even the chain itself with the little beads throughout the links, I think is really beautiful. But if I'm wearing a really low cut top or a low cut dress, this is the necklace that I pair with it because I just think it's really delicate, but it's still beautiful. Um, and you know, like supporting a local artisan boss bitch. Mm -hmm. I'm there for it. Same. I think I wear more, more jewelry in the winter than I do in the summer. Uh, oh, and this ring. Yes. Ah. Uh, like this rainbow cocktail ring. Again, loft outlet. Bobble bar sells them for $44. I think I paid 12. It's so cute. It's adorable. Okay, so this necklace, I've actually never worn it, but I thought like if I'm gonna whip it out, it's gonna be for the holidays. So my sister bought it. Why haven't you? Because my sister just gave it to me recently. But it's like a plate. Yeah, so it's from it's from Amazon, apparently. Why'd she give it to you? 
So she said that it broke, AKA this hoop came off of this. They sent her a whole new one. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. She's like, I'm gonna give you the broken one. And Hell I was yeah. like, oh, you have to wear this ASAP. Right, but I thought like, hello, holidays. Oh, hello, you know you sound like. Hello. No, the first time you did, you sound like Leslie Jordan from fucking Will and Grace. I mean, there are worse things. No, I love it. I know. But yeah, so I mean, if oh, I can't pull the sweater down to like show you what it would look like on skin, but it's beautiful. Just take your shirt up. <laughs> Just take my whole shirt off. Uh, but yeah, I mean, look at it. I can see it, or even with a black turtleneck. I know. Oh, we're so ah. old. It's like a little Art Deco-y looking. Uh -huh. It looks like a, a breastplate. Uh, yeah, it's honestly bedazzled armor. Yes. Oh, I love it. I yeah. wondered why I'd never seen it before. That's why, because she just gave it to me recently and like, it's not something you can just like whip out casually, I don't it's think. It's beautiful. Okay, next up I have a couple of bags and one of them is like an everyday bag and then this other one is like a fancy effing holiday clutch mm -hmm. that I purchased for a wedding and I specifically got one that was black and a little bit bedazzled uh, because I thought, you know, New Year's Eve, this would go great with that. Christmas dresses, this would go great with that. And I wear a lot of black so I felt like it was a good option. This is from Amazon, I think it was like $13. It looks like there's rhinestones on it, but in fact they are just shiny beads that are glued, 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 glued to a clutch. And I think the brand is Jessica McClintock, which I think they sell at Kmart. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but it was just like a really nice sized, thin profile, basic oh. clutch that also has a chain that you could link around it. I wouldn't do that, I just tuck it in. Oh, there's a oh. thousand bobby pins oh. because I was in a wedding and I took out my wedding hair. Yes, I understand. <laughs> You've been there. Uh-huh. Um, That's my favorite part of any wedding. That's when I get to go home and take my hair down. Right? But it holds everything that I need. It, it hold, holds my lipstick, it holds tampons, your phone, whatever. And also it just like kind of, like it really catches the light nicely. Mm -hmm. So it's cheap, but it doesn't look cheap. Cheap. But I also like that it's it's still a small clutch, but because yeah. it's so long, you can fit more than you can in right. a Right, like the clutch. profile is very thin. Um, and I just like tuck it under my arm or I would hold it in my hand. Even going out for a nice dinner, I'd wear it with this. I, you know, it's versatile. So this is my like holiday night out uh, purse. And it does, it's a Kate Spade. Saffiano. Saffiano leather in rose gold. I remember when you busted this out very nonchalantly last year and didn't even tell me you got a new fun bag. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, because so my mom and I, my mom, my sister and I went down For your to, Vir yeah, to Virginia um, and we hit some outlets and this thing had to come home with me. I absolutely love it. Um, it, it I mean, it doesn't, it's not the most practical bag ever, but I'm, it's rose gold, like I'm not wearing it every day, but it does have like a little zippered pocket and then a little pocket that's perfect for an ID or your phone. Mm -hmm. um, and it also has the metal sh uh, shoulder strap, which I never ever use. How would you use that? Right, it's just... Who can use that? I feel like Paris Hilton. Can I try it? Yeah. Like I feel like I should Did have- she used to carry a tiny bag like that? Yes, 100% with her. Oh, it's just not comfortable. And also it like, it wants to slide. Yeah, because it- I liked how you had it though, like when it was showing on underneath there. I don't know, I think it looks kind of cool. Like this, like it adds oh, yeah. a little bit of a- Bidet is Yeah, and then it's got this really long strap. So typically I will wear it just over the shoulder, hanging sort of down near my butt. You wore that to Holy Glam. I wore, I've worn it a bunch of times and yeah. you would never know. Right. It's in perfect Forgiving. condition and it's this damn leather. I, if you can find a Safiano leather or anything, yeah. I suggest it because you can't, you like can't scuff it, you can't stain it. You can wipe it. It's water repellent. Yeah, yeah. it's a great one. It is. Okay, my everyday sort of wintry bag uh, that's colorful, <laughs> barely, <laughs> is this Nine West, uh, very structured crossbody. I like the square shape. I like that it is kind of accordion style on the bottom, so it does expand if you need to. It's filled with trash right now. I just looked. Um, God, so many return receipts. I don't even, I can already tell that's loft returns. Yeah. But it has two pockets on the inside. It also has, you know, the zippered pocket in the back and then a couple of pouches towards the front for, you know, whatever you want to put. And then also I really like this accordion pouch here. I usually will put like money or if I'm parking somewhere, I'll put my parking ticket in there so it's accessible and easy. Uh, you can carry it by the handle, which I, 
I grab it by that when I'm like running out the door, but I don't ever walk around like that. You don't ever walk around with it on your elbow? Like a saint. Will that bitch? fit over my elbow? Uh, not over your elbow, but. Oh, like this. But yeah, Nine West, this was from Macy's. This is a gift from my sister-in-law. I love it. Uh, I think it came in a bunch of different colors, but that ox blood color just really speaks to me in the way. Right, you know? obviously like it's a theme. We like it, okay? We're doing it. We like it. Um, oh, so my other more like everyday purse, but festive is again, it's another Kate Spade. It's a pebble leather and it is fire engine red. I love it. For the holiday season, I do wish it was like a little bit reddier because it's kind of tomatoey orange. Like it has, cause it's I great. Like I saying. love it for summer because it's got that orange hue to it. Yeah. But I still use it in the winter, but uh, I love it. It's super comfortable. The leather sort of forms to your Thigh, mm. like thigh butt so it's soft against you and it doesn't like flop when you walk soft it doesn't flop but yeah so i've had it for a couple years and i use it all the time really love and i tr actually tried to find this bag again in black and couldn't which really pissed me off but yeah <laughs> no do you want to know what's in here listen kate spade okay two jackets that i find my well one jacket that i find myself reaching for all season long because i'm like i just want to be wrapped in this every second of the day. The first one is this Carolina Bell, whoever she is. It's from Marshalls. It's a faux leather leopard coat and I just, I feel like um, a kind Cruella DeVille. Yes. I love it so much and I really love to wear red lipstick so I feel like it always looks good. I usually am in black so again, it looks great. I just would throw this on with even this top, a pair of faux leather leggings and some heels and like you are ready for a night on the town. Uh-huh. Or a casual dinner or a casual dinner um i will say we both tend to be a little overdressed in places no dress for the job you want we have shown up to events a multiple, mom life. multiple times and been like oh dang oh dang oh dang we misread this <laughs> i'd rather be overdressed than underdressed oh absolutely yeah and then recently Kayla and i have been wanting to try rent the runway for so long so 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 long yep the unlimited version and she finally did it and she was getting them really cute stuff and then finally i found the most bomb coupon where i could get it for 89 dollars a month oh you did yeah that's nice and so i just pulled the trigger because we have so many events coming up and one of the pieces that i requested was this rachel zoe sequin effing blazer slash moto jacket oh, see, it's like a bomber jacket also. yeah and the i don't like how that does but um like, I feel like the modern day Sandy. Oh, that's cool. Right? Like, I feel like a cool bitch. I zipped it up the other day and I was like, I don't love it zipped because it is kind of cropped. And I just think it looks better unzipped. Like, yeah. So I can't say that I bought this, but I'm wearing it for the next week. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I really like it's it. It's borrowed. Do you remember Bag Borrow Steel? Oh, yeah. What was that? It was, a, it was bags that you could rent online. But I just thought this was so fun. And, and this is what I was telling Mike. Something like this, I'm not going to invest money in because I'm probably only going to wear it realistically a handful of times a year. Me, uh, at most. At most. And most of the time it's going to be December, January when Caitlin and I are going to holiday events or fun happy hours. I just feel like it's more appropriate for that. So while I still want to look fun and festive, I don't want to invest my own money into it. So I would just rather wear one that 30,000 other people have worn. Mm -hmm. uh, so my last thing is the thing I forgot, the thing that inspired this whole idea for me mm -hmm. um which is a coat and uh, maybe i'll see if i can find a picture and we'll put it in but it is just it's a black mid thigh uh sort of thick coat but it has pretty much this yeah. black fur that is detachable and it goes right around the collar actually i will say the fur is like even nicer um and it just is this whole fur lapel mm -hmm. and it's my favorite thing ever and I showed up to a friend's engagement party wearing it the other day, recently. Oh yeah. And it was like, I walked in and was like, oh. oh. And all I did was put on a coat. Like right. it wasn't even you were responsible. I didn't make any effort in that way. And then all of a sudden everyone thinks that I'm like doing the most. When so you're yeah. only doing the least. Right, like just get yourself a freaking thing. It's from ASOS. I, they probably don't have it again, but I'll look. 
that's it. These yeah. are our festive accessories, minus a few things that we certainly have forgotten. <laughs> I know, um, I'm gonna be so annoyed when I like, cause I was, same. I was doing that thing where you just sort of stand and you think and you think and you're like, no, no, I know there's and something. And I was like I looking in my closet. I was like, do I have festive shoes? Do I have this? No. Right, like I also just swear festive I have tights. so many more like sparkly things. I do have I think I have tights. really cool polka dot tights that are like sheer black and then they have dark black You do, black cause I dots. wanted them. Yeah. You got them from Loft, I think. Yeah, I did. That anyway, anyway, uh, what do you do to start feeling festive? I'd love to know. Same. Let us know what we're forgetting. Uh, let us know if you go to somewhere like Michael's and you find those, find those fun earrings too. Can you put a picture in the comments? Probably not. No. Mm, Cause I'd love to see them. Oh, uh, well hit us up on Instagram. Send us a photo, DM us a, a photo of you and your festivity driven regalia. <laughs> What that the was so fuck? fancy. Your party clothes. Send us a picture in your party clothes. <laughs> but anyway, okay, so that's it. What's on your mouth? Oh. Yeah. Oh. Oh, oh God. Oh. Speaking of fucking fancy. Oh, you know who I am now? Actually, but listen, ladies. Throw I away the box. No, I can't. You have to. I somehow, I, the other day I got a 100 point perk from Sephora and it's by, probably by far the most expensive 100 point perk I've ever gotten. I would yes. guess. And it is the Tom Ford lip, it's just called lip color in the shade Casablanca. Mm. Look at this packaging, even for the little baby. Look how little lipstick that wow, is. Oh, that is tiny. But yeah, just the most beautiful packaging. It looks great on you too. I've ever seen. Yeah, yeah, and actually while we were filming though, I did throw a little bit of this uh, Clarins. You love that. Roseberry, yeah. It's great. Well, Cause it's like a balm. Mm -hmm. It's like just a tinted balm. I do like it too. Which is nice. Okay, so that's it. I did like a little ombre number. I first lined my lips with the Stila Stay All Day Lip Liner, and this is in the shade Cabernet. It's a much purplier version. You know, if if you wore it on your own, it's it's quite purple. Uh, but then I layered over it the Bobbi Brown Luxe Lip Color in Parisian Red, which is just a true holiday red color. Caitlin and I mm -hmm. split the pack. And oh, you mean this? Yeah. What color is that? This is red velvet. It's a little bit more maroon, right? Oh, it's, it's still just, beautiful though. It's deeper. Oh, I do that. like that. Yeah, so mine's like a blue red and hers is like a purple red. Yeah. Um, so I, after I layered that on again, I, I went in with the lip liner and I kind of feathered in the corners just to kind of make the edges look a little bit darker and deeper, but that's what I'm doing. You fancy, huh? I'm trying. But yeah, okay, so that's it. As always, what? Watch our last video, watch, watch our, our next, next video. video, watch all the videos, videos. comment, like, like, subscribe, subscribe, ring the bell, Tell get the mom. notifications, tell everybody. <gasps> oh my God, how long have you been there? <laughs> Mike, could you do our outro? That's it. Thanks for coming to our videos. What? I don't even know anymore. Thanks for coming. Mike makes me nervous. I know. I didn't even know he was there. I'm glad because I wouldn't have been able to do anything. Okay. Hate to see you go, but love to watch you walk away. Oh. Wow. Oh. Bye. Wolf.